Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. 406 Shaver coming at you. Uh, the, tonight, I don't really have anything special planned. I'm just going to be doing a basic shave of the night. Uh, it's Sunday night here. I'm going to be using the PAA Atomic Age Bay Rum Soap and Aftershave, the Atomic Rocket Shave Brush, and the Mercure Slant Razor. So, not going to be really doing too much talking. Um, just going to be a basic shave of the night. Afterwards, I'll go go over some of the things that are that are coming down the pike. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get lathered up here, and we'll get on with the shave of the night. So, hope you enjoy. Over the past couple of days here, I've I've received some pretty good feedback from my uh, 406 subscribers. Let me get a little bit more shaving cream there on the sideburn. Um, so there will be some minor changes coming down the pike, hopefully here before too long. Um, not nothing major, just a few revisions. I'm going to be tweaking some things, and uh, hopefully it's going to be making my videos a little bit more desirable for you folks. Um, I'm going to try, try and focus on not, not cutting my earlobe in videos going forward, but, um, uh, I'm human, you're human, accidents happen sometimes, so if it happens, I will try and put a disclaimer in the video, but other than that, I, I think we're in business. I really, really enjoy this, uh, Mercure slant razor. Um, it's the first slant razor I've ever used, so the first couple of times I used it, um, felt like I was slicing myself up pretty good. But I don't know if it's maybe because the blade has a shave or two under it, or just because I'm not, you know, I'm not heavy handing it. And I think that was a big part of my problem before, is I'm pretty heavy handed when it comes to things. Uh, the first couple of times I use them. But after I learn, you know, how to how to finesse things and how to make them work, um, generally I have an easier time with it. Um, and like I, I think I've mentioned in past videos, I'm, I'm still pretty new to wet shaving. Um, I very much enjoy it. It's very, very relaxing, very calming. Um, I was actually in a, in a group the other night online and, you know, it was kind of a, kind of a wet shavers round table. Um, but yeah, people, people were mentioning that it was, you know, a relaxing experience, supposed to be a relaxing experience, almost therapeutic. And I definitely do get that feeling, um, even when I'm filming, you know, it still feels like this is me time, this is time, you know, I get to relax and just reflect and talk to my, talk to my viewers and try and have a little bit of fun, bit of fun. Using the uh, Crown King Scuttle, like I said, the uh, PAA. Atomic Age Bay Rum and Aftershave. Um, I think after my shave tonight, or before I put on the aftershave actually, I'm gonna put on some, found some old preferred stock uh, after balm. So I think I might try that. Preferred stock has a pretty unique scent. Um, that bottle is pretty old, but it's still got a decent scent. Just, Hoping that the uh, preferred stock scent doesn't really mess with the Bay Rum scent because I really love the scent and staying power of that aftershave. And Douglas Smythe over at, over at Phoenix Artisan um, 
you know, everything I've, products that I've used from him, especially the soaps and aftershaves are phenomenal. Um, can't say enough good things about him. Um, nice guy. And, uh, yeah, I, I hope to be able to get some more, some more soaps and aftershaves from him down the road sometime. Very close shave with this Mercure, the Mercure slant. I can't remember what the uh, what the uh, model number is, but I want to say it's the 34C. Uh, if it's not, go ahead and correct me. Um, but I was trying to do a little bit of research last night on the Mercure Safety Razor Company, and I really couldn't find much other than it was like a sister company of the the Dovo razor company um, I think I want to say Dovo acquired them in 2006 but yeah I'd have to pull up a fact sheet on that but yeah um, nice little razor it's got good weight to it, it's got good balance. Going for the last pass here. A little bit of a nick on my, right near my Adam's apple there. Not too worried about that. Usually I have some some issue either shaving over that or shaving around it when I shave. So that's no real surprise. Not very serious. Although any cut that you get while you're you know while you're doing anything should be should be treated. So um, the aftershave has alcohol and stuff that will kill the kill any germs. So I'll be doing that, and if it continues, which I don't think it will, um, usually those ones right there don't last for too long after I put the styptic on or the, the Allen block. So get that taken care of and then throw on the, the balm and then the aftershave. Uh, we got Thanksgiving coming up here. Are you guys getting excited for that? Unfortunately, I'm going to have to work on Thanksgiving, which is kind of a drag, but... Got to make that what we got to make that money. I think that's going to wrap that up. Go ahead and rinse off here.
still got a little bit of stuff around my jawline that I think I'm going to go ahead and take care of here real quick. I have to do some, some skin pulling on that. So, get the old trusty Allen block out here. some soap in my eye there that felt nice maybe it was alum does alum sting if you're dumb enough to get it in your eye <sighs> hopefully that's a mistake it won't make twice but <laughs> knowing me I probably will all right coming over to the other side here There we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's money right there. Go ahead and get dried off here and get this thing wrapped up. Clean the soap off my, my UGF jersey here. Got the styptic pencil out here. I'm just going over the couple of little nicks that I got. Um, still came in, came away with a couple. I think I tried to get a little bit too carried away with that that last pass there, but nonetheless, um, still way better than the last time that I used the old Mercure slant. The Mercure slant, the first two times I used it, was almost as bad as that shave with the with the Vikings blade where I was trying to brag it up. So, yeah. And being as I just put aftershave on my hands, I'm not going to waste it. So I think I'll save the preferred stock for my next shave. And I think for my next shave, I'm going to attempt to use that damn shave head again. I, I want to I want to learn how to use that and I think the only way that I'm gonna learn how to use that is by trial and error unfortunately the one cut that I received that was over here um, it seems to have healed up pretty good can't really see any remnants of that so I think it's time to get back on the horse ladies and gentlemen um other than that like I said, I've got a few minor changes coming down the pike, um, just to my channel. Um, nothing major. It won't affect. It won't affect really anything. But that's, that's all I'm gonna say on that. Um, I just hope you guys like it. I hope it's a little bit more eye catching, uh, making my stuff stand out a little bit. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, I would like to say thank you very much to Douglas Smythe. Um, he gave me some advice and some pointers, um, and I'm taking that, taking that to heart and trying to affect those changes on my channel. So Douglas, thank you very much. Other than that, I think I'm going to wrap it up here, ladies and gentlemen. 
Uh, that was the Shave of the Night with uh, Phoenix Artisan, Atomic Age Bay Rum, Soap, and Aftershave. Um, yeah, that's going to do it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, good night. God bless. May all your shaves be smooth. Have a good one.